Why not live dangerously in life, guys? Here we go. Ooh, slime ball. You want some? Prepare thyself well, Dragon Warrior. Thy most challenging quest ever awaits. Go with speed, but go with patience. Seek out an arsenal, a dragon scale, a torch, and magic herbs. Use wisdom and cunning to choose thy commands, for the Dragon Lord is a fierce rival. Horrible and treacherous minions all guard the evil one's island castle. Are they ready, young one? Yes, King Lauren. And so begins a new epic, Dragon Warrior. Nintendo, now you're playing with power. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're jumping into Dragon Warrior, also known as Dragon Quest, depending on the country in which you stand. This game came out in 1986 in Japan called Dragon Quest, and then in 1989 it was called Dragon Warrior. So go figure, I don't know. Um, this is a classic RPG, um, a classic RPG. The developer of this, uh, Yuji Hori, actually based this game on classic RPGs like Wizardry and Ultima, but he aimed to make a game that would, would appeal to more wider audiences. He wanted to make a game that people unfamiliar with RPGs would actually enjoy. So this game emphasized storytelling and simplified interfaces more than RPGs that had come before it. It's going to be interesting looking at it today because, you know, this game is... I can't even do the math in my head, but it's... Uh, what, like 30 years old? 25? It's at least 20 years old, I know that much. Now, this is an old game. So, actually, wait, it's way older than all that. It's like 30 years old now. Okay, I'm uh, my math is way off, guys. But the point is, looking back at really old games like this, we've talked about this before on the channel, but sometimes it's hard to extract us out of our current situation. Um, the current things that we're familiar with and that we have seen in the past, you know, 30, 40 years of gaming and go back to a time when a lot of things didn't exist and things were new. So, for instance, the interface uh, that, that was in this game, it was, it was simplified compared to other RPGs of the time and it was lauded as like something that could bring in casual gamers. I guess we will see if like it still seems like a good interface. But remember, like back in the day, this was novel and interesting and people hadn't quite seen this. So... Uh, I'm excited to give this one a try, even if it will be difficult to put ourselves in the mindset of a child in 1986, but we're going to try and do it for uh, science, let's say. Anyway, begin a new quest. We'll start on adventure log number one. Ooh, we get to name our character, too. Let's go with the, uh, my, it's become like my standard RPG name on this channel, but we're going to go with good old Jagor. Jagor the Mighty. All right, there we go. It all fits. Uh, which message speed do you want to use? Let's just go... Uh, fast. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, so... Uh, Descendants of Erdic. Listen now to my words. It is told that in ages past... Er is it Erd Erdric? Let me make sure I'm pronouncing these things right. Erdric fought demons with a ball of light. Called light bulb, people. Then came the Dragon Lord, who stole the precious globe and hid it in the darkness. Now, you, Jagor, thou must help recoverest thy thyest ballest of light and restore peacest to our, our land. I'm going to stop trying to ham up the intro here and just read it. The Dragon Lord must be defeated. Take now whatever thou may find in uh, the treasure chest to aid thee in thy quest. I like the thee and the thys. Uh, <laughs> I just like the old English just amuses me for some reason. Then speak with the guards, for they have much knowledge that may aid thee. Uh, may the light shine upon thee, Jagor. Why did we stop using thee, they, and thou in the English language? Somebody answer that for me. I would like to know, because I feel like those are still all totally usable, uh, usable words. Like, why can't we go back to a time, to a simpler time of these thous and thyists and, and nays and nayists and stuff. Anyway, I don't know. Um, let's do search. Here you go, search the ground. There is a treasure box. Okay, how do I open this treasure box? Uh, take. There's nothing here, Jago. Jago, you idiot, there's nothing there. Okay, fortune smiles upon thee, Jagor. Thou hast found 
The magic key. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right, what else we got going on over here? Let's uh, take, of gold thou hast gained 120. Boy, it's even written as if like an old bard is like walking you through this adventure. Uh, what else we got? Fortune smiles upon thee. I have found a torch. All right. Now, uh, I guess we need to use magic key. Oh, look at this puzzle solving here, guys. So, um, yeah, from what I have read, this game is going to uh, quickly level, level us up uh, in the early stages because it's really trying to introduce us to the concept of RPGs. And so the game developer, uh, Yuji Hori, behind this, did a lot to try and make sure that things were very accessible and people knew what was going on. I think there might also be a map. Or maybe not. Okay, I guess we will. I will. We'll figure that out when the time comes. Let's just see what we got going on in here. Let's talk to all these people. Figure out what we got to do. Um, to become strong enough to face the future trials, thou must first battle many foes. Okay, good tip. Pro tip in RPGs: make sure you level yourself up. What does this guy say? Thou must have a key to open a door. You sir are a fountain of wisdom. Did you go to? Did you go, did you specialize in dorology in university? Because that is some high level advice right there. I do I do it does feel a little condescending, like they are talking down to me just a little bit. But uh, it was the early days of RPGs, people. We gotta we gotta cut them some slack. We are merchants who have traveled much in this land. Many of our colleagues have been killed by servants of the Dragon Lord. You need to change your line of business. I would say. Just, uh, just a thought. Rumor has it the entire towns have been destroyed by the Dragon Lord's servants. Okay. What I would like to do is get a sword or something. We kind of skip these people. Uh, where, where can I find a Princess Gwaylin? I don't know. You tell me. I'm, I'm the one asking questions. There was a time when the Braconary was a paradise. Then the Dragon Lord's minions came. And with it came chaos. Dude, this dude has to say, Yo, dude, what's up? Entering the cave, take with thee a torch. Okay. Talk to this guy, too. Talking about a princess. Okay, oh, look at this wizard down here. I think this guy's gonna help me. Potentially. Talk. Jagor's coming was foretold by legend. Well, <laughs> Nice to know that uh, Gaming Jay's reputation precedes him, even in the world of 8-bit uh, role-playing games. May the light shine upon this brave warrior. Indeed, good sir. Indeed. All right. I think we've explored the whole town. Um, my, I, I think we just need to, like, carry on here. But... Look, I have, I have no weapons. Okay, hold on. Status. Look, I have no weapons, no armor, no shields. When are we going to go, like, just... Claw the eyes out of some monsters I meet? Is it true that I have, like, nothing? Items. I have a torch. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let, let's see how this goes. Oh, look, there's another village over here. Okay. Let's talk to this kid over here. Hello, sir. Thou art most welcome in Braconery. I need to find a weapon and armor shop. Ooh, this looks like armor. But armor is not as essential as a weapon. Uh, oh, weapons and armor, yes. What does thou wish to buy? Okay, copper sword is 180. I only have 120. So I guess I'm buying a club. A club or a pole? If I buy a club, then there's no armor. Wait, clothes? Am I naked right now? <laughs> Am I just walking around just bare-ass? Bare-ass nude? Letting it all hang out? I'm like, you gotta, you gotta be able to move like a cheetah when you're fighting monsters in the wild, people. They fight in a G-string or nothing at all. Um, man, this sucks. I really want armor. Okay, I guess what I'll do is I'll buy a club. And then I'll save up for the armor. Uh, wait. Was there like a shield or something? A small, a small shield is 90. It's more than the armor. All right, forget it. Your store sucks, dude. I'm never coming back here. I'll see you soon to buy that armor that I need. Um, here's an inn. So I haven't played a Dragon Warrior or Dragon Quest game before, except 
you guys follow the side series I sometimes run on my channel, uh, I did an episode of Retro Minigames a while back where I went into like a monster betting arena, and that was in Dragon Quest 3, I think, or Dragon Warrior 3, sorry, I should say. Um, and that, I actually had to play that game for a couple hours to get to that uh, monster betting area. It's like a Mario brick block. Um, and it was actually a pretty fun game. It was actually a pretty fun game. I mean, one day I might play Dragon Warrior 3, actually. Um, okay, get- Oh no, I'm trapped on the bridge! Move! Let me- let me go. That's funny. I swear these bricks are the same brick used in Mario Brothers. Like, the pattern just looks identical. Um, I mean, there's a wizard and stuff in here. I guess we'll talk to them. That were cursed? Come again. Alright, this guy removes curses. He's in the curse removal business. And... I don't know what that guy was saying. He sells magic keys or something. Anything else going on up here? No. Alright, let's go kill some monsters. That's what we're here to do. We're gonna put the R in RPG. R stands for... I don't know what it stands for, but it means fight. Ah, there we go. Alright! So, a red slime draws near- wow, this is so classic. It's funny, I've never played a Dragon Warrior game before, but just everything about this is so familiar because it's like, formed the foundation of how many RPGs have been built since, so. Um, we're gonna kill a couple of red slimes here. Hopefully get some money and experience. Gold is increased by two, and we'll save up for some sweet armor. Because remember, right now we technically have no- not even clothes on. Just like in the Oregon Trail back when we played the Oregon Trail way back when, like six years ago. A thief came in the night and stole all of our clothing. That was actually- that, that was one of the funniest things that's ever happened to me in a game of Oregon Trail. So if you haven't watched that episode, it's like one of the earliest games we ever played. Thief came in the night, stole every single piece of clothing that we owned. Which begs the question, were we all just sleeping in the nude? I mean, you have to assume that we were, otherwise he is the best of all thieves because he literally stole the clothes off of our bodies. So, maybe we were in a drunken stupor, I don't know. Maybe the Oregon Trail team was, uh, was a little hungover that evening, I don't know. Who knows? Um, I'm just gonna walk around here and kill slimes for a little bit to, uh, get that armor, get that money, and get those levels. But, uh... But yeah, I should say that, uh, so when this game was in development, um, Yuri... Yuri? Yuji Hori, sorry, I'm- I'm not Japanese, and foreign names are just really hard for me, so I don't mean to butcher the guy's name. I'm probably even pronouncing it wrong, but Yuji Hori, um, when he actually went to develop this game, specifically saw an opportunity with this game to do something that you couldn't do in games at the time. So around that time in 1983, arcade games were sort of one of the biggest areas of video games. And what, uh, you, what uh, Yuji recognized is that with the Famicom, there was an interesting opportunity to make games where your goal is not to get players to a fast game over. Your goal is not to kill players quickly and get money out of them. And even if a player gets to a game over, you might as well just let them continue where they left off. So there's no penalty in this game necessarily for dying. You don't reset and have to restart the whole game from the beginning. You can just basically kind of go in and pick up where you left off. Uh, one more gold is all we need, by the way. Which is good, because we are about to die. Boom, we got him. We clubbed him to death. We're just clubbing slimes to death in the, the dewy meadows of whatever place we are in. All right, let's go buy our armor here and then die in the, the fields and then be resurrected. Uh, talk. I was like, how do I buy armor from this guy? We gotta talk to him. Communicate. All right, leather armor. This should protect us. Hard to leap. Um, all right, see ya. Check our status, make sure we're wearing the armor. Yeah, club and armor. We could try and save up for a sword. We'll see how the combat goes. Will this guy let me sleep for free, I wonder? I mean, I literally have nothing to my name. Welcome to the inn. Six gold. You know what, we'll save up six gold and we'll be back, bro. If I don't die, if I don't die a, an early death to slimes, we're coming back for that room. Keep the pillow warm. I don't know why the pillow would be warm. Don't do that. That's actually weird now that I think I'm thinking more about the request. 
Um, but yeah, so, so the whole idea of this game is like, let's make a game where game over, um, you know, doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Let's make a bigger game where there's a world for, uh, players to explore. Oh my god, we just leveled up. Wow, that was super easy. Power increased by one, hit points increased by seven. Okay, but we still only have four hit points left till we die. I like how the menu turns red when you're getting close to dying. Um, I don't think we're we're ready for a cave, but it's nice to know that there is one up there. So, uh, oh my god. Kill him! Done well. Yeah, we have four gold. We only need to kill one more slime, technically. Oh my god. Kill him! Oh god, I'm down to two hit points. Oh no! Oh, dude, no, I died! If I'd killed that slime, I would have had six gold. Thou art dead. Oh, hello. Death should not have taken thee, Jagor. I will give thee another chance. Uh, to reach the next level of experience, you must increase by 15. Now go, Jagor. Boom! Just what we were talking about, guys. Yuji Hori has got your back. Um, I really... You know what? Can I say... I, when I was reading about the development of this game and how like the creator specifically saw differences between how arcade systems work and how the Famicom could work and he was like you know what why do things the same way that arcades have done them and try and kill people and have game overs why not just let you continue when you die I thought that is a smart guy that is a guy who like literally sees the advantage of the hardware he's working on and sees ways to actually you know, things you can do with the hardware that you could never do in the arcade. Like, you couldn't play- have made this game in the arcade. So I have a lot of respect for the thought process they went through, the intentional thought process they went through of trying to create this game the way they did. Um, and the whole thing about trying to take an RPG but make it very accessible, both in the graphics and the interface, is very cool. Another thing that I read that they did in this game, um, and again, having never played it before today, I can't say this from experience, but from what I've read is that the world is totally open. You can go wherever you want. Nothing is locked off. The only catch is, if you go into areas that are too advanced in the game, you're going to be fighting some high level monsters. Um, so the idea, the idea is that you're supposed to grind away on some of the lower level monsters, level up, and then get to the higher level things. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's just sort of like the real world. I mean, you could walk into a university classroom and write an exam anytime you want. I mean, I guess you can't have to pay for the course, but, you know, you could just go wherever you want. You could go pick a fight at a bank if you want, but if you're not leveled up enough, you know, as a warrior, you're going to lose that fight every single time. Um, so I, I like the idea of, like, just a totally unbound world where, like, the player can just explore and do whatever they want. Um, it's interesting because I feel like that is what... Um, Morrowind was, I think. Uh, I think we played that on the Xbox not too long ago. And in that game, I remember I didn't get really far in it. And uh, people in the comments were like, oh man, like you should play it for much longer. Like the game opens up so much more. You just like barely even scratch the surface. And my reaction was like, yeah, I agree. Um, you know, I, I mean, I personally don't have the time to spend like, uh, you know, eight hours on every game I play because we have to play so many every week. But... I agree I didn't get too far, I'm not denying that. But at the same time, I felt like in that game, I had no idea where to go, and it was so open world that it was almost directionless. Um, although, it was probably partly my fault. I probably didn't quite listen to what I was supposed to be doing. Um, one thing I have read about this game, too, is that they have very clear indications on like maps and stuff of where you need to go. So it's like a combination of they wanted to give you a really open world uh, to explore, but at the same time, should we sleep? I'm kind of tempted to sleep. Okay, we'll, we'll sleep to recover hit points. I was gonna say, we could just keep leveling until we die, and the king will keep reviving us, but... Um, I'll sleep there to regenerate my hit points. And I want to hit the next level before we go in the dungeon. Um, but yeah, this game strikes me as an interesting mix of, like, being open and letting you do what you want, while also being very accessible and, like, introducing a lot of people to the concept of RPGs, so... Yeah, I don't know, I mean, I'm gushing over the game a lot, even though, like, I've, I'm barely playing it, 
still haven't gotten very far in it. But I like I like what I've read about it. I like what I've read about it, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, we of course though can uh can also rip on the game a bit. I mean I mean what okay, honestly, what went on Ooh, a ghost. A ghost in like a weird hat. That's kinda funny. Uh the ghost hit me by three hit points. Jesus. Okay. This guy is quite powerful, actually. Maybe this is like where we meet our match. We're like not quite ready for the cave at all. Man, attack! Kill this thing, man. Jeez. Only three experience points for that? We literally have to go back to town to heal. Oh, forget it. We're not going back. Let's just see what's out here in the world. We're probably gonna get killed. But let's just see what we got going on out here. Um... But okay, yeah, this game's called Dragon Quest in Japan, Dragon Warrior in North America. What goes on in the localization process? Like, like, like what happened? Did, did, did they like come to the management? They're like, look, focus group after focus group. We have them at Dragon. We lose them by quest. We got to do something about the name. Americans don't have the attention span to understand what a quest is, people. If we don't capture, you know, we got to go like, uh, <laughs> we got to go Rambo on them. If we don't get them by the end of Dragon, they're not going to play this game, you know? It's just like, oh, quest is never going to fly out west. They're never going to, they're never going to stand for it. You know, the, not like the, uh, oh, we killed that guy. Not like the, uh, the, the cultured Japanese who are, you know, very reserved and patient. They're patient people. They will listen to the word quest. We don't do that in, uh, in North America over here. Anyway, courage and wit have served thee well. Thou hast been promoted to the next level. Thy power increases by two. Thy response speed increases by two. Maximum hit points by two. Um, ooh, maximum magic points increased by six. And I've learned a spell. I did? Heal? Uh, mana is too low. Alright, well, we're gonna die and then we'll heal. Kinda doing it backwards, but whatever. A Drachy. Okay, we are level three. Let's see if we can actually kill this thing. Um, might be able to make it to that town over there. Boom, crushed ya. We also have like 24 gold, so we can easily heal if we need to. Ooh, we made it to a town! Alright, let's see what's going on over here. You guys know that there's lots of bats hanging around your town? Many believe that Princess Gwalin is hidden away in a cave. What? Okay, this wizard's just... This, this old man's just being incredibly inconvenient. Get out of the way, old dude! I wish there was a button to tell them to move. Like, push old man. Why isn't that an option? We deal in tools. I can buy herbs. Oh yeah, you... This is, this is the shop you come to for all your, your tools. They sell a, a, a torch. They sell lighters, herbs, and dragon scale is code for a bong. So we all know what kind of store this is. <laughs> I bet you sell herbs. Medicinal herbs that will cure all that ails. Uh, whoops. No, 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 no. Okay, thank God. I almost accidentally bought a club. Um, thank God I don't have enough money for it. A hand axe is 560. Holy Jesus. Pain mail. Okay, we don't have enough money for any of that stuff. Maybe I should save up for a sword before I really go adventuring. This guy says room and board. 25 a night! I can't even afford that. What is this? Uh, hold on. Door. Thou hast no key. Thou hathest no keyest to entereth. Thou hast must leave. Alright, fine. Off we go. Off we go. Um, another thing, by the way, that changed in the localization process of this game is, uh, is the humor and religious iconography. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not surprising. I mean, Nintendo always used to do this. I feel like they're much more lax these days, although they still, I mean, they're still sort of like the family-friendly gaming company, right? Like, they've always been like that. So what Nintendo does um, typically is any game that's localized for North America, they will sort of tone down any potentially salacious humor or, you know, like the, they took crosses and stuff out of Castlevania because it was like just too controversial for North America, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why 
in Japan, it's family friendly to show a cross, but in North America, like I thought, <laughs> like just play devil's advocate for a second. What is wrong with church? Like I get that uh, people have a variety of religious beliefs in North America, but just showing a cross. What does that have to do with anything? Are people going to get offended? Like, how dare there be a cross in this video game? I don't know. People are just highly sensitive about it, I guess. Um, they're, they're highly sensitive about what parts of their most deepest held spiritual beliefs appear in Castlevania games. Go figure. Um, but in this game, in the Japanese version... I mean, first of all, by the way, if you go look up the Japanese version of Dragon Quest, the graphics are all... Uh, different. Not not like radically different, but they certainly gave the game a graphical overhaul for North America. Um, but they also... Well, they did things like uh, they got rid of... There was a password system for saving your game in Japan, and they gave the game a battery backup in North America. I mean, like three years passed since when the game was released in Japan and when it came out in North America. So they had time to upgrade this thing. So they did the graphics, they did the battery save backup. Um... They took out, you know, any crosses or any potential mention of religion for North America, you know, not to offend the delicate Americans, I guess. And uh, apparently at one point in the game, there's a, a woman who offers to sell you Puff Puff and then rubs her breasts in your face. <laughs> I, I don't know what Puff Puff is code for in Japan, but it doesn't sound family appropriate. Um, in North America, she's selling tomatoes. So Puff Puff becomes tomatoes. So that's... Fine, whatever. I guess you don't want to have the the bosomy woman rubbing her her memories in the face of children. That's fair. But when I read that, I was just sort of thinking like, wait, that's but that that's cool in Japan because <laughs> it's not like Nintendo just has a family friendly, uh, you know, image in North America. They're family friendly all over the world. It's just that you know the religious thing I get. You know, North Americans are like far more outspoken and aggressive and stuff about their religious beliefs. So it's like, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to poke that beehive. Uh, you know, you don't want to poke that wasp's nest. So just get it out of the game. I get that. But with the boobs, I'm like, okay, like, yeah, you know, a woman rubbing boobs in boys' faces, probably not appropriate for a children's game. Except in Japan for some reason. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with the culture of Japan. But apparently that's cool. Apparently they're like, yeah, tits, whatever. Get over here, little Yuji. Come play an RPG. Whatever. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe, you know, I would love if somebody who, like, lived in Japan or grew up in Japan or knew something about Japanese culture could fill me in on that. I mean, I'd, probably what it just boils down to is it's sort of like in Europe, you know, sex isn't considered as big a deal as in North America. Like, I think um, North America as a whole has somewhat Puritan sort of views on, like, sexuality and sex and stuff. So it probably just boils down to that. But, it, I mean, maybe maybe I'm more Puritan than I thought. I never thought I was, but I just am sort of like, yeah, I mean, rubbing boobs in a boy's face. Probably not for a kid's game. I don't know, but may, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that kind of stuff happens, and may, maybe it's like the uh, European localization of Mario Brothers counts as, like, hardcore pornography in North America, you know? Like, it's just, everything is just full of, like, sexual innuendo and stuff. Um, we need a torch, don't we? Um, item. Okay, I was gonna say I don't want to necessarily use my torch. I'm probably gonna die, but you know what? Screw it, let's do this. We're going torch, torching out. This is actually really interesting what they've done here. So, um, like, you you don't move on the screen. It's like you're always in the center of the screen and the world scrolls around you. So you can't use your position on the screen to help orient you in this maze here. You have to just, uh, you know, because you, you have very limited vision. This is actually a really neat representation of using something like a torch and then going through, like, a dungeon or a maze. So... Hopefully we don't get lost, but I feel like it's probably inevitable that we do. There's some stairs downward. I don't want to explore this whole space before we leave. Hopefully they didn't make this maze too intense, because this game is made for kids. Despite all the booby references and stuff, but... Okay, this is actually a fairly small area. And there does not seem to be any monsters. I guess we're going to find the princess potentially down here. Everyone kept talking going on and on about how the princess was in a cave. So, all right, let's keep going down. 
Let's see what we got going on here. Hello. Any slimes in here? I'm really good at killing slime. Also, I've killed a few bats and a couple of ghosts. A couple of ghosts. Nobody. This is like the most boring haunted cave ever. It's just... This is just basically just a really basic maze. Just to kind of get your brain working a bit. You know, exercise. Grease up the old brain muscle before, like, the real puzzles in this game begin, potentially. Um, anything down here? Wait, have we... Oh! Hello! Uh, take. Fortune smiles upon thee, Jagor, thou hast found the tablet. The tablet reads as follows. I am Edric, and thou art my descendant. How do you know I am? <laughs> Maybe I'm not, dude. Uh, three items uh, were needed to reach the Isle of Dragons, which is south of Brecarnery. I gather these items... Uh, reached the island and there defeated a creature of great evil. Now I have entrusted three items to the three worthy keepers. Their descendants will protect the items until thy quest leads thee to speak them out, to seek them out. Uh, when a new evil arises, find three items, then fight. I think he was, I think that was Shang Tsung. Fight. Is there literally nothing else in here except that? Okay, so my... <laughs> literally, the point of this cave is to tell me what to do later, further in the game. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess we'll find our way out. So, I don't know. Used up that torch. Hopefully for good reason. Is there anything up here? No, it's a dead end. Nothing up there either. Alright. Man, not even like an item or something. It would have been nice to have something in here. Whatever. Whatever, not even a monster. I mean, it's good there's no monster, because then you'll die and waste your torch, I guess, I'm guessing. But up we go. Alright, back to killing slimes. Slaughtering slime balls. I gotta buy a better weapon, man. Like, uh... I gotta get to the point where I'm, like, just, like, one-shotting all these monsters, and then we can just, like, you know, make a power move for the, uh, weapon. Because I'm doing, like, no damage. Right, so a bit of grinding here. So, uh, yeah. What else can we talk about as we grind? Uh, I don't know. Is, why, why is the countryside so... So, like, riddled with slime? It's sort of like got the Ghostbusters 2 problem. Like, Vigo making a comeback in this world or something. There's just slime leaking everywhere. Slime and ghosts. I don't know. I think about it. It could be a Ghostbusters, uh... Could be a whole metaphor. Maybe this is sort of like their attempt to remake Ghostbusters 2 in video game format in Japan. This is the best. This is what they came up with. They're like, well, we can't just straight up rip off Ghostbusters. We'll be sued. So let's do it more metaphorically. Uh, and we'll put uh, witch hats on the ghosts. Why are the ghosts? Are these ghosts of witches? That is like the most hardcore supernatural you can get. There's ghosts, skeletons, and witches. Those are like the classic Halloween supernatural, like, you know, bad bad guys. But it's like the ghost of a witch. That's like doubling down. That's like the KFC double down. It's like a, a chicken sandwich where the bread has been replaced with fried chicken. You know, like that's that's how intense that is. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even noticing. I leveled up, by the way. Sweet. Um, I've learned a new, another new spell. Heal and hurt. Ooh, I- Ooh, I chanted the heal spell. Wait, I- Oh my god. Hey, we don't ever have to go back to town again. Look at this. Found a way to heal forever. Let's just go exploring a bit then. Um, one other thing I read about this game. I can't tell if I already talked about this. I've just been rambling. But, uh, if I did already mention it, forgive me, it's- just a sign of my ever-failing brain. But, uh, one other way they tried to make this game accessible is by having obvious destination points on the map. And... I feel like that's that's cool when I read about that. I was expecting to have some kind of, like, big overview mini-map and, like, have blinking... like a blinking cursor showing me my next destination. Which I... it's fine that... oh my god, a magician! Okay, we're running from this one, boys. Jagor started to run. Okay. Next magician we find, we will we'll, we'll beat him to death in the fields with our club. But I just I wasn't sure if that would be a hard fight or not. A lot of slimes though to pad out our numbers, our hero, def our monster defeating numbers. 
But, um... But yeah, I was expecting sort of like a... Ow, ow. That hurt. A uh, mini-map that would kind of show us where to go. And it's okay that we didn't get one. Um, but I did, when I did read about that, I was like, wow, that's actually a really smart uh, way to make the game accessible to people. Because getting lost in RPGs is kind of the thing I hate most about RPGs. Like, not knowing where to go. I hate all video games where you don't know where to go, and it seems just to be a matter of fact that in more RPGs than not, they like the open world mechanic, which I do appreciate in some ways, but then not knowing where to go sort of grinds my gears, because eventually I'm like, where do I go? Just show me, tell me, give me a destination. Uh, anyway, I think we're about to die from a scorpion. Let's give it our all. Scorpion, hit me for five. All right, let's just go down in a blaze of glory. Hit me by three. We actually did a bit of damage to him, but I suspect that he's got like 20 hit points or something. So that's okay, kill me. Thou art dead. I like this death thing not really mattering. Um, okay. okay. I think it cost me a gold to die. I had 24 gold and 54 experience. Now I have 23 gold. Did you just steal from me, king? And I have 56 experience. I feel like the king stole some money from me. I mean, one gold is a bargain to be revived, but still. Sort of feels like... Didn't agree to that, you know? Um, let's go over here and check out the cost of swords again. I think it was... I need like a hundred gold or something. Let's see. What do you wish? Co 180! Holy... Damn! Oh, I thought it was like 90, like the... the small shield. We only have 23 gold. How are you supposed to get weapons in this game? Do you, are you literally just supposed to grind forever? There's got to be quests or something that give you tons of tons of gold. All right, here's my new thing. Let's seek out a cave, like that one, because I suspect going into the cave is where the money's at. I follow the money. I'm I'm an RPG hero, but I'm also here to make bank, yo. So we're going we you know we're going wherever the money is. Dogs. Okay, and that seems to be a dead end too. Okay. Kill that thing. Boom. Mine's only give you two gold, which is like totally worthless. I, I wh where's where's the monsters made of money? Hasn't hasn't an evil wizard like corrupted a pile of gold into a monster that wants to fight us, but is also really bad at it, so we can just kill him and take his tattered corpse as payment? It, why isn't that a thing? Where the where the monsters made out of gold? That's what I want. Imagine walking down the street and a big pile of money attack you. Like, in human form, someone had, like, uh, cast a spell on it. It was, like, walking at you. It's, like, a bunch of hundred dollar bills and some twenties and fifties in there. It was like, you are mine now. You have to fight the pile of money. That'd be a weird day. No, no two ways about it. That would be a weird one. My typical days don't involve fighting a, po <laughs> a possessed... A uh, sorcerer possessed pile of money. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Alright, here's a magician. Let's fight this dick. He, uh, hurt me. For four. Good thing we got a lot of hit points. We can just, uh, outlast this guy. Boom. I wish we had more than a club. We're literally just beating this dude to death in a, in a field. Never met this guy before. We're, like, crossing a bridge. There's a guy in a cloak. We just pull out- it's like the equivalent of pulling out a crowbar. Just go into town on somebody. Uh, we defeated him. Ten gold! Alright, so the magicians are made out of money. Oh my god, the only problem is we can't really, uh, afford to, uh, fight more than one. Okay, so maybe that's not the way we want to go. That one magician almost ended me. I went from, like, 30 to 10 hit points. The slimes are becoming, like, nothing. Maybe I could just get a couple more levels, like two le one or two levels, and then just try and fight wizards? That could be like, that could be a wizard fighting guy. That'll be like the niche I carve out for myself in this heroic land of opportunities. Uh, two gold. Yeah, man, those wizards were so much. Let's just run from this guy. You can flee every fight, I guess, which is kind of nice. 
Um, wait, did we ever talk to this guy? Hello! I've heard of one named Nestor. Is that no such one? Is that the same Nestor from, like, the any like, NES Nestor Nestor? Oh god, this boy trapped me. Out of here. Um, let's see if this guy has better prices. It would make sense that they don't all- they're price fixing, you sons of bitch. <laughs> I was gonna say, it makes sense, they're independent businessmen! They wouldn't be- they wouldn't all the same prices, but they are price fixing, man! They're price fixing. That is, uh, that is uncool. Alright. Um... Well, if I do get a magical key, I can open up that door in that tower. Maybe that's the way forward. I think there was a guy willing to sell me a magic key in one of the beginning towns. That might be what we try and do next. We have to kill all these witch ghosts first. Or they can kill us, either way. If you kill me, you just send me back to town, which is where I'm going anyway. Ooh, a Draki. I will fight you, sir. I guess I could cast a healing spell on myself, but I'm kind of too lazy to. <laughs> to be totally honest, if they kill me, I just go back to town. Cost me one gold. So sure, thou art dead. Alright, but uh, the king, who some miraculously has the uh, power to... Oh my god, I lost half my gold! Okay, dying does have consequences. I just realized that. That's why I'm not making any money. I keep dying. Okay, new plan. Stop dying. Um... It didn't cost me one gold, it cost me like 30 gold to die. That is brutes. That is brutal. But I think I can still come over here and buy a magic key. Let's see, I think there was a kid over here selling them. Hopefully I have enough money. Uh, you, right? There's a town where magic keys... Oh, he's just telling me that it exists. He doesn't actually have one. Well, what good are you, kid? Seriously. What does this guy say? Within sight of Tangle Castle to the south is Charlock, Fortress of the Dragon Lord. Wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm, in, I'm in a shop. What is this? We deal in tools. Oh, this is the herb shop. Okay. Interesting. What does this guy say? Uh, enter where thou can. Uh, now I don't know what to do. Hold on, can we get in here? What will this say to us? Thou has not a key to use. Alright, I guess we're going back to our plan of trying to kill magicians. <laughs> it just makes me think of uh, Job from Arrested Development, you know, Will Arnett. Like, just beating up, beating on magicians and taking their money. That's, that's our role in, uh, in this world, apparently. Let's go find some magicians that we can beat on. And, uh... I wonder if I should save my magic points for heals, or if I should use hurt on the magician. Hard to say. So here's what we'll do. We'll go fight one magician. We'll kind of beeline it over there. And I'm gonna cast one hurt on him. And then after the fight, I'll cast a heal, and we'll kind of, like, weigh the balance of, like, which did better. Okay, we killed the, the Draki. Oh my god, another thing. Ghosts. I mean, the good thing is fighting all these, like, sort of petty monsters should be, like, leveling my character up. So if I can get more hit points or whatever, that's a good thing. Fight. I might have to use a heal before I even get to the wizard. 80 experience. Jeez. Draki. So I don't 100% understand how and when my uh, magic points regenerate. In classic RPGs and stuff, you, used to, you, you have to go to sleep in order to like regenerate your spells and your health and stuff. It'd be really nice if my magic points just sort of regenerated over time. Like, um, maybe fighting these things is better. They give me, like, three gold each? No, only two gold. Not a lot. Alright, spell... Heal. 
He chanted the spell of heal. That only heals 10 hit points for four magic. Hmm. Ghost. Let's kill this guy. Best we can. God, I, the fact that I'm taking damage on these, like, little monsters makes me feel like it's gonna be really hard to, uh, stand up to this wizard dude. Man, like, we haven't even got to the wizard, and I feel like my health is so low that I'm, like, second-guessing whether we should even fight a wizard. Like, we're definitely gonna have to heal before we go into this wizard fight. Okay, so let's spell heal. Okay, so I can only cast two more spells here. Alright, wizard, where are you? Where are you, gatekeeper? Of your sacred bridges? I'm here, wizard! I'm here, fight me! Fight me! There's nobody around. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a ghost. Ghosts and magicians hanging out together, causing trouble. Being bad. The good thing is, I think you can flee from most battles with pretty much no consequences. So, we're up to 53 gold. Oh my god, a scorpion. Let's just see what happens if we cast Hurt on him. 11 hit points of damage, damn. It's actually really good. Boom. Damn, but he's still like hitting me. Okay, we're kind of all in on this. We gotta kill this thing. Ooh. 14 gold! Alright, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> we gotta, like, flee back to town and heal. Because we are gonna die. Oh my god. I'm- I'm running. I'm running. We got one more hurt in us. So hurt- the hurt spell only uses two magic and does an insane amount of damage. We'll kill this thing. Um... That hurt spell actually seems like the way to go. I like how it's not fireball or ice lance or anything like that. You know, it's not, it's not telling us how we're hurting people. The spells just hurt. It's like putting them in like a headlock or something. It's a wrestling move, really, is what it is. Takes a lot out of them, so he has to uh, come back and recover. All right. Six gold per night. That is a steal, my good friend. Heal me up, yo. Oh yeah. Okay, the secret to this game is magic, I have just discovered. Beating people with a club is a waste of time. I wonder if there is something we can buy at the other town that will like help our magical abilities. I'm tempted to go explore that possibility. Let's clobber a couple slimes on the way. Slam, slam. Down you go. Crushed like a bug. Alright. So we've really only found, like, the two towns. There definitely is, like, a bridge down to the south, but I'm certainly so weak that there, it'd be suicide to go check it out. Uh, but maybe we can go into this town to buy, like, wizard's robes or something? Or was that wizard who said he would cure us from, uh, poisons? Or whatever. I forget what he was talking about, but... It might be worth it to, uh, to chat him up, see if he will teach us spells. What I want, what would be awesome is if someone could teach us more, to give us more mana. If we had more mana, we could, like, start wrecking stuff. Because running out of spells is going to weaken us quite a lot. Like, this dude here, can you teach us stuff? Um, Garnan, a wandering minstrel of legendary fame, is said to have built this town. Well, good for Garden. Who are you? Forget what you are. Oh, this guy sells tools. We don't we no need of your tools. Hello, sir. Teach me the magic ways. I don't care about the princess. Are we supposed to be saving a princess? Because I am not really paying attention to that part of this game. I'm mostly focused on how to kill slimes, sir. <laughs> Maybe when I get more powerful, I'll care about the princess, but my... My focus right now is how not to die to bass and how to kill scorpions and magicians. Um, it said that the princess was kidnapped and taken eastward. Well, sure, why not? Uh, is there anything... I know I've looked at this stuff a lot, but I just wanted to come double check. There's no, like, wand or something. 
Really nothing, eh? Then this guy... 25 a night. That just does not seem worth it. I mean, I guess when you get to the point where you're slaughtering wizards like they're nothing, when you're buying, like, $800 pieces of armor, then, uh... Then whatever, you're willing to, uh, pay 25 for night. Wow, just five points of damage, eh? This guy might be somewhat immune to magic. Let's try again. Hurt. Oh, there we go. Oh, we killed him. Nice! Okay, that's how you do it. How much hit points do you have? So, you just kind of stand still, I think. Then your menu comes up. It's actually kind of a weird mechanic. I didn't press anything to bring this menu up. We have 80 gold. We have enough to- almost enough to buy a shield. I almost wonder if that's worth it. But no, we're gonna wait until, uh... We're gonna wait for the sword. Oh man, we one-shotted him! Damn, okay, that is how you get more powerful in this game. Courage and wit have served thee well. Thou hast been promoted to the next level. Thy power increases by five. Thy response speed increases by two. Thy maximum hit points increases by four. Thy maximum magic points increases by four. That's awesome. I'm actually... <laughs> I read that in a mocking tone, but I'm very excited about all those improvements. Especially the magic points one. That is gonna serve us well. I guess we can kill like one or two more magicians. We might as well hunt them down while we're over here. Come on, you greased up slime balls. You guys remember the X-Men cartoon show? Uh, like back in the 90s, aired on like Fox Kids Saturday morning or whatever. Um, the reason I bring it up is just uh, one thing I will always remember about that show that I think was mentioned to me at an, on a, in an Honest trailer that I watched one, one time. And I was like, oh, that totally is true. Um, is how <laughs> Wolverine desperately tries to curse in a child's program. He's like, you greased up slime buckets, you scum sucking, you know, craw eaters. It's like he's getting so close to, like, letting an F-bomb slip, but it's like a kid show, so they obviously can't do that. Oh, I'm about to die, aren't I? Oh my god. Maybe I should just run. I think so. It's not worth losing, like, 50 gold. Uh, run? <laughs> Wait, can I, uh... Oh, I don't even have enough magic points to heal. Alright. Well, this is what you do in RPGs. I'm very familiar with the process of grinding in RPGs. It's just how you do. I feel like if you if you didn't like this process, and I mean, like, nobody likes grinding, but at the same time, like, oh, the slime ran away from me. Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's an interesting way of keeping you from just over farming the uh, early level monsters. Um, but nobody likes grinding, but I will admit, once you kind of get into it, like, you have an idea of what you're trying to accomplish. I'm trying to get 180 gold from killing wizards and scorpions so I can buy a sword to help me kill wizards and scorpions more easily. Like, once you kind of have a goal, grinding is kind of fun sometimes. And it definitely is fun to, like, become more and more powerful and to, like, you know, encounter monsters that gave you a lot of trouble early on in the game and then just dominate them and destroy them later on. So... Like, becoming gradually more powerful is, like, an addictive drug. So it's like, I get... I get... how grinding ended up in video games, and why it keeps coming back, and it doesn't go away. Like, it's a gameplay mechanic we'll see forever. Because it is very satisfying, and it is sort of like... Like, I almost was about to say, like, a slot machine, but not at all, because a slot machine is just totally random, whereas grinding... You are in control. Like, there's some randomness to each battle. So, you know, when I do fight a monster, it is kind of like playing a slot machine because I never know if I'm going to win the fight or they're going to win. I have a lot more control than a slot machine. I can try different tactics and moves, and uh, after each move, I can reevaluate whether it's going well or poorly, and I can make different decisions. Um, so it is more complex, certainly, than just totally random chance. Um, but... There is that sort of addictive element of, like, doing the same thing over and over. Like, it's very repetitious to grind in video games. Um, you know, as you grind towards, like, a goal or whatever you're trying to do, but... 
Um, we are- we're getting to a point, though, where we're slaughtering these things really fast. We're getting a lot of experience and money. I think the sword will be ours momentarily, and that's gonna unlock a lot of new possibilities for us. Oh, hello, magician. Would you like to get hurt? I chanted the spell of hurt. The spell go- the way you chant that is, F you, buddy! F you, buddy! F you, buddy! And we hurt him very much. Or maybe it's like hurting his feelings. We're like, where'd you buy those robes, buddy? Walmart? From the bedsheet section because your wife left you? And like sort of, emo he dies emotionally on the inside. Either way. I mean, I guess technically spells are just words. They're killing with words. So it's like really well-formed insult, like <laughs> killing these magicians. Um, we're actually doing really well. 120. We're like, we're very quickly getting the money that we need. I like this. That last level that, that uh, we went up, like, really seems to have, like, powered our character. Oh my god, these things, those wizards only have, like, 12 hit points, so we can literally one-shot them, in theory. I've noticed the hurt spell sometimes does, like, 5 or 6 damage, and other times does, like, 11 or 12 damage, so... One hurt, one good hurt spell, and that wizard is done. Getting these guys to... It's these little monsters that actually slowly whittle away my health. Oh my god, I'm gonna use a, uh... Oh my god, he keeps dodging. I'm gonna use a heal spell, I think. Because I don't want to die. Boom. Alright. It's also interesting, like, as more abilities get unlocked, you can definitely become way more strategic. Like, initially our plan was just kill monsters, die in the fields. Now my plan is like, like I'm balancing magic points and stuff. Um... Nobody wants to fight me, eh? Like, you have to think, like, you only have so many magic points, you want to use them for offense, defense, like, when are you low enough that you want to run back to town and sleep? Like, there's kind of a lot of... A lot of elements to be balancing here. Which I dig. We might have killed all the magicians in the, uh... In the region, to be honest. I don't- there are- we've, like, definitely taken the fight out of them. They're like, no thank you! Don't wanna get involved in any of that. They just see me coming with my club, my crowbar, that, uh, has ma magician blood smeared all over it. Um... Oh, there's this guy. I wouldn't actually even mind fighting another scorpion, because I feel like I have a good amount of magic for it, but the scorpions do hit hard, so... My fear is not killing him fast enough, and then him killing us. I definitely- I have 138 gold. We don't want to get sloppy and die at this point. So we just really gotta watch those hit points. Alright. Gold slowly climbing. Come on, like, two more wizards. Back to back, two more wizards. Where are you guys? I know you hang out in this forest and cast spells. Reveal yourselves to me, wizards. Maybe the wizards are just going on like a nice Sunday hike. You know, they're like out for a hike and they see you and they like have to pay like in a hurry. Like, oh my god, a Magidrake. God, hopefully this thing does not kill me. Nine hit point damage. He only does three damage. Just kill him quickly. Ah, uh, we defeated him. Eleven gold. All right, that's that's like fighting a wizard. Whatever that thing was, <laughs> that was pretty powerful. Anyone else over here? Oh, another one. All right. Well, we have enough for three hurt spells. That should be enough to get us through. He doesn't hit us hard enough for it to be a huge concern. Oh, we did it! All right, time to head back to town. 160. We're so close. We're so close. Kill this guy in the old-fashioned way. Four hit points. Actually, I don't know how many hit points the red slimes have. They have somewhere between three and four. I do know if I do four points of damage, they go down in one hit. Get out of here, ghost. Go back to the netherworld. We have 169 gold. We're gonna have to spend six, of course. On a, uh, hotel room. Or 
more ma- oh, we have 171. We, in theory, could get enough for this sword. So this happened in River City Ransom, too. That was a game I used to play on the Nintendo a lot. Um, and the way that game works is when you die, you just go back to the nearest town, but you lose half your money. So if you were trying to save your money up for something, you definitely wouldn't want to die. But the second you bought the thing that you were saving up for, it was like, okay, well now I'm dirt poor, I have no money, I can die, it doesn't matter. So sometimes you would do this where like you get really close to le to getting the money you need and you might be close to dying, but you kind of like ride that line till you have enough. Because we're, look, we're so close. Hold on, the menu went away. We only need five more gold. Like forget going back to town, let's just try and get it. But yeah, you really ride that line and then once you have it, then you can die and regenerate all your health. Um, anything want to fight us though, that's the problem. The issue I'm currently encountering. It is nice that sometimes, like, monsters and stuff don't fight you, but it's like, when you want to fight a monster, sometimes it's annoying. It's like, where are you, enemies? Four more. Come on, we got this. Gotta be a monster out there that wants some. Oh, there we go. These guys give us two gold, typically, I think. And two gold, yes. Okay, one more red slime. Anyone got a red slime they need butchered? A lot of experience with it. Plus, I enjoy it. Find it kind of fun. Anyone? Slimes? Slimes? <laughs> Why are they all being sheepish all of a sudden? Alright, here we go. We got it. Two. Oh, 180. Alright, let's go buy the sword. We're good about hanging out here one second longer than we need to. Oh, yeah, we made it. Alright. Sweet! I'm excited for this upgrade. Alright, dude. Hit me with the... <laughs> copper sword. Such a piece of junk. Yeah, give it to me. Why not? Take the... Um, oh, I sold him my club, too! Huh. Alright, well, I guess since I do have the money, I might as well heal. And... Uh, I kind of want that shield, too. I bet that would make me take even less damage out in the field. That'd be sweet. And then I guess it's like the next armor is like several hundred. We can sort of just try and like actually make some progress adventuring, finally. Oh, you want some? Let's see how much damage we do now. Nine points of damage just by swinging our sword. We don't even need the hurt spell anymore. The hurt spell was just like to get us through before we had a weapon. Damn, where are the wizards be at, yo? I almost want to just run past the slimes and stuff, not because I'm afraid of them. Like, there was a point where, like, I didn't want to fight them because I didn't want them to kill me, but now I don't want to fight them because they're a waste of my time. Boom! One hit kill! I have a ghost slaughtering sword. Alright, let's get that 90 gold, let's buy a shield, and then we'll, like, carry forward down into this area down here. Boom, we're just slaughtering these things. You would think that a club, though, would be better for getting slime balls than a sword. Like, cutting... Like, imagine you're trying to fight Jello. You want, like, a hammer or something. You don't want, like, a, you know, long sword. Um, anyone want to fight me? Anyone want to fight me? Okay, I guess we'll just go... Exp well, whatever, we'll go exploring now, who cares. Oh, a magician, eh? Uh, he does two damage. And I killed him. So they have like 10 hit points or something like that. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what we got going on down here. Oh my god, a skeleton. Six points of damage. Now right, let's see if we can defeat this guy. 11 points of damage, uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh, run. <laughs> okay, we're not ready for that. Spell. Heal. Imagine I cast Hurt on myself. Um, I'm gonna heal up again. I don't want to risk it. Alright, we're not ready to go down that way yet. 
There was that other bridge far away where we found the scorpion. Maybe we're ready for that. Let's see. We definitely need a, a shield, though, because these things are still hitting us pretty hard. We don't have the hit points to, like, absorb all this damage. Jeez. Like, the scorpions are, like, more deadly than the wizards. Oh my god, he's still alive! Die already! Jeez. 13. I mean, that's a lot of gold, but damn. Wizard? Ugh, one of these things. Ah, uh, whatever, we'll, uh... No! Uh, God! Run! Uh... Heal. And... Heal. Alright, let's... We gotta kill, like, a wizard or two and get this shield, damn it. Again. No! You got me! Okay, we got away. So these these are deadly fields. Oh god. Okay, you know what? Let's just kill this thing. And then we'll have to go back to town and uh, heal up. Die! Defeated. One casting of hurt and one sword to the face. Magicians. We got these guys. Ow. Boom. Defeated the lowly magician. Oh my god. Run! <laughs> oh my god, he's chasing us. Run! Flee! Oh my god. Okay, we're back to ghosts. So yeah, this is what I mean by like the whole world is like open, but uh, you... It's kind of like locked off by like more powerful enemies, basically. Um, do we have enough magic? No, we don't even have enough magic to heal. But we should now be in a territory where there's, like, nothing that can actually hurt us. It's just a bunch of slime balls. Kill the slime! We also are in the exact same situation we were in last time, where, like, technically, we could just fight a little longer, and we probably will get enough money to buy that shield, which we only need five more gold. I guess, should we just do that? Why not live dangerously in life, guys? Here we go. Ooh, slime ball. You want some? 87, we need three more. Mm, oh, a Drackey. We got this guy. Ugh. Stop hurting me! <laughs> I want to one-shot these guys. Also, I don't know how much more experience I need to level up, but it would be nice to level up one more time. I'm not gonna lie. 206. I forget when we leveled last. I think we leveled at like 50 and then 100. Uh, so we probably leveled at like 180 or something. We're probably far away. 200 experience. Just, it feels like we're... We're far... Like we're deep in, you know? Like we've killed a lot, but... I guess it's just an illusion. All right. Once we have this shield, I'm convinced all our problems will go away. How can the shield not make our lives just 100% better? We'll be able to kill scorpions and wizards. Don't take my dream away from me, guys. I don't want to hear. The reality is probably not going to make a big difference. But check this out. Status, Jagor, Strength 12, Agility 11, Maximum Hit Point 35, Maximum Mana Point 20, Attack Power 22, Defense Power 9, and he's wielding a Copper Sword, a Leather Armor, wait, and a, where's my shield? Wait. Yes. I thought I bought the shield. Small shield. The small shield. Is that okay? Yes. I thank thee. Oh, okay. I didn't actually finish the purchase before. That's funny. All right, and a small shield! He is pimped out and ready to rumble. And he's actually one gold short of being able to stay at the inn. Would, oh, look, my guy has a shield now. That's actually kind of cool. They, like, give you a little shield. Okay, let's get this one gold off this dude. Uh, we'll stay in the inn, heal up, and then we'll go... Uh, maybe we'll try going east. Let's give that a shot. We've been, hey, like, clearly that skeleton 
outranks us really fast. <clears throat> so we're not going to be able to take on that skeleton dude. But uh, that we saw over at the west. So let's try going east. Maybe we'll have better luck that way. We need to find a town out east where they only charge six gold to sleep. And it has lots of wizards to kill. Those are the money makers at this point now. Like, honestly, I don't even care about killing the blue slimes. The blue slimes are one gold, one experience. Sometimes they're not even one gold. Not worth my time, baby. Okay, is there anything down here? Okay, that was like a swamp. I don't want to do that. And I don't want to fight you. We'll uh, try this bridge up over here. I guess I'll kill the red slimes. Because they are, uh, two gold. There's not nothing. Alright, is there anything up this way? No, that gets locked off by the case. Ooh, a magician! A magician draws near. And he does... Nine hit points worth of damage, you dick. Just die. Magicians are unfortunately not worth very much experience. Like, I think ghosts and magicians are worth... worth... Basically the same thing. Yeah, three and four gold. So sort of gold ramps up faster than experience, it seems. Maybe it is worth killing the blue slimes. I mean, they're a quarter wizard and they're free kills. Ooh, we leveled. Uh, courage and wit have served thee well. Thou hast pr been promoted. Who's giving me these promotions? Thy power increases by four. Thy maximum hit points increases by three. Thy maximum magic in increases by three. Okay, well that's that's good. I was hoping to do a bit more power, be become a bit more powerful than that, but that's good. Better than nothing. Kind of want to like play this till I get to like level eight at least. Uh, more ghosts. I'll slaughter you. We're starting to like one shot the ghosts and stuff, which is nice. <laughs> the red slimes are starting to flee from us, which is nice, too. Okay, anything else going on over here? I don't think so. Ghosts. Who are you gonna call? You call me, because I killed the ghosts. I melee the ghosts. I don't use a proton pack like a wussy scientist. I get in there and, like, fight them hand-to-hand. -hand. Hand-to-hand ghost combat, man. That's how you gotta kill ghosts in this world. Oops. What are all the other options? I've, like, barely explored this. Stairs, search, take door. These are all, like, uh, sort of environmental things. This is, like, talking to NPCs. Spells. Status just shows your status. So spells and items are, like, the only two things. Nothing of use has been given to thee. Okay, well, so spells is the only option, really. The only combat-worthy option in that whole thing. Um, alright, we're in a new land over here. Still fighting ghosts. Um, alright. What's over here in the desert? Ooh, scorpions. Damn, they still kick like a mule. I'm gonna run. And... Oh, a Magidrake. Alright, let's, uh, hurt this guy with very hurtful words. A series of really well-barbed insults. Sort of cut him to the core of who he is. Defeated him. Gold increased by 11. Okay, I wanted to heal up. Um, and I'm going to do that again. Okay. So we're kind of at more or less at max hit points. 38 is our actual maximum. We're very low on magic, though. So... Oh my god. We're fleeing from this guy. Oh no! Run! One of my uh, one of my spells to heal me just totally now was nullified by that stupid uh, skeleton dude. Oh man, I like when the wizards actually, the magicians actually attack me here because they do no damage. That hurt spell of theirs, it actually really does hurt. All right, what do we got going on over here? These Magidrake things actually scare me a bit, too. Ugh. Only three hit points. I was done well and defeated the Magidrake. 
Oh, there's a town. There is a town. Maybe it is actually worth it, worth it to spend like 20 to uh, heal up. Because like, you know, then you get to hang out in this part of the world, like linger over here. I don't know. All right, let's go into the town either way. Hello, old man, tell me your tale. This is the village of coal. All right. Uh, let's see what this guy has to say over here. Uh, dealing weapons and armor. Copper sword, hand axe, half plate. I've, yeah, the other guy had all the same stuff. So I guess the stores are pretty, like, uniform and stuff. Uh, we need a key for that. Ooh, a wizard who looks like he might want to sell me things. Ow! Dude! Uh, thou art the ancestor of Jagor. Thou cannot defeat the great dragon lord. Thou should come here again. Wait, what? Thou art as brave as thy ancestor. Thou should come here again. God damn it. Oh, that took off four hit points to do that. Okay, that... That sucks. I wish there was a place in town to just heal for free. This bath cures rheumatism. I don't know what that is, but I don't think I have it. Okay, welcome to the Travelers in 20 gold. Not yet, good sir, but soon. But here's my strategy. We're going to use up all our heals until we have no more heals. And then we're going to run into town and spend the money. Because basically it's like this. We have a bit more fight left in us. We can kill a couple more monsters before we're in danger of dying. So why not do that before we actually... Uh, oh god. Maybe we only have like one more kill in us. Okay, so that gave us nine, nine gold to do that. And... If we can kill, like, one more monster, then that probably pays for the inn. So it's like, rather than rushing to the inn, when we had a bit of magic left, we might as well use up the last fight we have left in us. I'm trying to maximize our gold here. That's basically what I'm trying to do. Um, no. I'm not gonna fight that thing, though. I'm not good at killing scorpions. They're too tough. Their hides are tough. I guess we can explore over this way a bit. Oh, a magician. Just what I was looking for, dude. No damage. Man. Sucks to be you. Alright, we got another nine gold. We've basically paid for the hotel room, so everything now is just gravy. Oh, another magician. I'll kill you too. Oh, this guy must have like 11 hit points. And didn't do it. Don't he go. Ooh, 11 gold. Maybe we can get enough money, we can, like, save up for a piece of plate mail or something. This- this episode has just turned into, like, the grinding game. Which I'm not disappointed about. The thing- so the thing is, like, I don't think that we're not doing enough damage to enemies. I think what it is, is some of the more higher level enemies, when they hit us, they just hit us so hard that it's like... You know, it's... It's too too difficult to stand up to it. All right, ten more gold. Slowly getting there. I like this forest. It's like nothing but magicians and ghosts, and I can pretty much kill them without taking any damage. So it's like this is where you need to be farming. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Run. Okay. Well, fun's over. <laughs> Time to heal up. Let's rush into the inn over here. That skeleton almost ended us. Alright, talk. Yes, I do want to spend 20 gold. Recover me! Alright, I shall see thee again. Thankest thou. Um, you know, I would not mind fighting a skeleton now, now that I'm all, like, healed up. Boom. Okay, so I can slaughter those magic drakes by hand. I'm just trying to see, like, what enemies do I have to fight with magic and what can I actually fight with my sword. Down this way was what, exactly? 
Boom. It's when he chants that stupid spell that I usually... Well, actually, I didn't take much damage that time. Sometimes you can take, like, an insane damage amount of damage on that hurt spell. What else we got down here? Nothing, 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 nothing. So there's... Okay, that's that's the destination. That's the cave we're going for. Um, I say... Here's, here's my thinking. Let's try and level up at least one more time. And we'll try and get as much gold as we can this time. See if we can buy a better piece of armor. If we can't, if it just becomes, if it seems like it's going to take us hours to get there, then we'll just go in the cave and whatever happens, happens. But this is my strategy. I think we're in a good spot. I think we can churn out a lot of gold with very little risk to us. Let's fight start out with him panting hurt on us. Stop it! Oh my god. Alright, this is it. If we don't kill him, he's got us. If we don't kill him, he will kill us. Bell. Heal? Alright. Bell. Heal? Alright, we're back in a good spot. I like to be, I don't like to go into a fight with less than 20, 25 hit points would be like my ideal on the low end. Obviously higher is better, but I'm a realist. The enemies are going to constantly chip us down. But yeah, 20 gives us like two, we can survive two hits from like a hurt spell or like a scorpion or a skeleton dude hitting us. And it's usually just enough to run away if need be. That's my thinking here. Oh my god. Six hit points worth of damage. Just die already. Freaking hurt spells. I need, like, magic immunity. That's what I need. I have three more heals in me. Might as well use one. Or what would be really cool is if I could find something that would make the heal spell only cost three instead of four. Or just fight more magicians. If I could just line up a bunch of magicians. Hello, sir! And slaughter them one after the other. That'd be awesome. And if they could stop chanting the hurt spell at me. Why don't you chant the friendship song, sir? We could have been the best of friends. We chose to go down a path of violence. Oh god, with the hurt spells. Just attack me like normal. Why do they keep chanting the hurt spell? Very hurtful to my feelings. All right, I think I'm going to have to use my last two heals. Heal. Oh, no. We got one more heal in us. Oh, we might not after this fight. I, I need to be able to one-shot these things. I feel like for a, a lot of RPGs, there's, like, a night and day difference. When you hit a point where you're powerful enough, you can one-shot most monsters. You can just take their damage off the board so fast that it's like they become completely ineffective so it's like if i was level seven or eight i bet this area i could just like farm like crazy and like really rapidly get money i mean i'm winning every fight let's not you know i'm not doing that bad but uh they are like chipping me down and like i do have to like go into town and heal periodically and that's like eating into my profits 20 gold every time i do that which used to be an insane amount of money but I now almost have 200 gold, so I feel like I'm doing okay. See, when he hits, when he doesn't cast hurt, that's when those guys are ineffective. 24 damage in one hit! Oh my god. And my guy can sometimes do an insane amount of damage. Alright, this might be the last fight, unless this thing just totally missed it. Um, I got one more fight in me. I think he's dead now. All right, we'll fight one more time. As long as I'm above 25. When I get down to 20, especially below 20, it's, like, not worth the risk. Boom! No, oh, one-shotting the ghosts now. That's actually pretty handy. Any other- anyone else want to fight me? This forest is riddled with monsters, dude. It's not a safe place to have a town. Kill them! Ah. All right, we got one more fight. One more fight. Maybe I'm pushing my luck a little too much here. Oh, God. Okay. That was a sign to me that I am. <laughs> that was a sign to me that I don't have another fight in me. Because if that had gone wrong, I could have died. 
I got scared. A braver man would have just continued and looked for the next fight, but not me. I am no brave man. I am, uh... I'm a realist. There's, there's a time and a place for every fight. When the game throws a skeleton warrior at you, it's telling you it's time to cool off. And time to time to buy that hotel room you've been eyeing. Heal yourself up. Man, this is this place is great for uh oh, freaking hurt spell. This place is great for farming the baddies. Boom. Oh yes, yes, just line them up one after the other. Come to Jagor. I have to like leave one of these guys alive to like tell the other magicians, like warn them like. I'm like, I'm letting you go. Tell the other magicians what you saw here today. You know, like, intimidate their whole culture. Whole magician culture. I mean, they're in the forest trying to cast hurt spells on people. These are not good people. Okay, you know what? It's time. We're gonna try and fight this thing. Five damage. Nine. Hit for 14. Oh, God. Okay, let's just do it. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, we defeated him! <laughs> 25 gold! Oh, man, that fight was so not worth it. Oh, my God. That was a little scary, I will admit. I thought I had just messed up and he was totally gonna get me. I don't know if it was really worth it, though. Like, yeah, we got 25 gold. I guess it was worth it, because... Well, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like, we got more than twice we get from a wizard, but we can kill two magicians and they usually can barely hurt us. That skeleton almost killed us. So yeah, fighting skeletons is not quite worth it for us yet. We'll get there eventually. I think the next level or two, skeletons are gonna come into our range, where we're gonna be able to take them down. In fact, we should be leveling up any time. Any minute. I'll have to use another heal spell after this fight, I'm sure. Yeah, we're getting low enough. Oh, it's the hurt spell, man. Oh god, eight damage. Thou hast done well in defeating the Magidrake. The Magidraki. Funny how all these games have like their own little like stable of, like, weird little mythical creatures. And, like, as you play these RPGs, you come to know, like, you know, the creatures that inhabit the world for the game. I mean, of course you would, but, you know, it's like you, you, you very intimately and you, with a lot of familiarity come to know the little monsters that you kill frequently. Like, for me, ghosts and magicians. Easy. Scorpions, I still feel like I'm not ready to, to fight yet. Skeletons feel a little out of my skill set at the moment. But magicians, ghosts, slime balls. Magidrakis are a little harder than magicians. And by a little harder, it's annoying because they tend to do like a lot of damage to me compared to the magicians, even though they're not that much harder to kill. They get like one more cycle of attack or something. It just always works out poorly for me. Um But uh Yeah, I'm gonna try and kill this scorpion. I think we got this. Or yeah, I got them. So scorpions are kind of like the Drakis, or the Magidrakis, in their difficulty. Maybe a little more. Um, I guess I should heal up. Maybe my last heal. Obviously, because I only have one magic point left. So if we can kill, like, two more magicians and then one anything else, I'll be happy. I'll feel like this was a success. Boom, dead. Oh no, he's still alive! See, this is what I mean, I'm doing, like, just n not quite enough damage to get the Magidrakis. Close. Also, when am I gonna level, man? I'm, like, so looking forward to leveling. I want to be a little more powerful. 400 is my guess. We're so close, too. Anyone else want to rumble in these woods? I can kill you all day long! Oh, don't want to fight this guy, do I? No, I don't. Oh, God. This is why you have to have the extra hit points. Oh, God. Oh, no! 
This could be it. Oh, I was blocked. Run! Oh, thank God. Wow, we got... We got uh, blocked twice by a scorpion trying to flee. We still made it out. It tells me that I'm in a good hit point range when I'm like, eh, it might be time to quit soon. You gotta have that buffer of hit points for if the enemies try and screw you, you don't uh, just totally die. Alright, do, will status tell us how much experience we have left? No, it doesn't. I guess we have to go talk to the king or something for that. Attack power, 26. I want more defense power, damn it. Oh, you know what? We don't even know how much money we need, by the way, for, uh... Huh. There's a whole other side of town. Why is this all locked off? Door. Need a key. I bet the key's in that dungeon that we have to go to. We're gonna do this, guys. I, I want to quest, uh, you know, this is a long video for us, but whatever. Um, I want to quest into that dungeon, see if I can open the door. 3,000! I think chainmail was for sale at the other town way back. Maybe I should, like, venture back that way. Um, the only thing is this place is, like, so good to grind out enemies and levels. Okay, I think chainmail... It was probably at least 500, so let's, like, keep doing this until we level up. And, in fact, just because this is getting long, um... I will catch you guys up once I've leveled up a bit more, because I'm just going to do this for a while, and, uh... And once I've caught you guys up, then, uh... And once I've leveled up a bit, then we'll... We'll... we'll I'll bring you guys up to speed. Yeah, we leveled up! Courage and wit have served thee well, you've been promoted. Battlefield promotion. Power increases by two, response speed by six, maximum hit points by two, magic points... Ooh, we've learned a new... Hell. Oh, sleep. Interesting. That's good. You could, like, delay the fight, put the enemy to sleep, and then gives you, like, a couple turns, probably, to, like, do stuff. Um, I guess... Let us heal. And we got another fight in us. We're doing really well, guys. Still don't one-shot these magicians, which... <laughs> I mean, whatever. We're dominating them, but... You're like, come on, dude. Can't one-shot these guys yet? Alright, we can finally, like, man up to the scorpions, which is kind of nice. And we're one-shotting these ghosts, which is also pretty nice. So we're getting there. We're level 7. I think I'm gonna push this to level 8. Something else I've been thinking about is, like, it's gonna cost a few thousand to get better armor. But, like, quite frankly, if I could one-shot some of these dudes... I think I wouldn't even need the extra armor, because they would go down before they could even really damage me. So what I'm actually kind of thinking of is spending the 500 on the axe, because we're very close. I think it's 560. Spend the 500 on the axe, become more powerful, start one-shotting these monsters, then I will, like, power level and power earn cash. And, uh, then I think we'll be in a good position. Alright, we have enough gold. We're going for it. Buying the axe. I think he'll even uh, buy our copper sword back from, from us. We're going to get a bunch of money. And I swear, I think the other town had cheaper armor, so we might even just do a run back over there. But we're going for the hand axe. Forget about the plate. It's going to take forever to get that. It's like, I need more damage now. Uh, oh, look, he's going to buy that. Uh, this is all sounds good to me. That all sounds good. Check our status here. Hand axe, leather armor. Still not going to heal uh, at the town yet because I got a bit more fight left in me. But let's go take this baby for a test test run. All right, any dudes want to fight in the woods? I got an axe. I'll kill ya. Ooh, a scorpion. All right, let's see what we can do with these guys. 11 damage. That's pretty good. I've been doing like five or six per hit previously. Two hit. We killed it. Oh my god, the scorpions are now within our grasp. See, now I think we got the skeletons. I think we're gonna one-shot this wizard. Um, no, we didn't! I eat my own words. I, I think that was a bad hit. I think, on average, we're gonna be one-shotting the magician. So I think we're in a much better spot. 
I've been grinding away at this for quite a while, actually. It's oddly satisfying. It's a funny mentality of these these RPGs where, like, you just grind over and over again trying to kill these bad guys. And what you're trying to do is kill enough of these guys that you can buy stuff that'll make it easier to kill these guys so that you can then go fight other guys that are harder, which you'll have to grind through in order to earn stuff that you can buy to kill those guys more. Like, it's, it's a never-ending cycle. It's like you're just constantly trying to get better at killing the guys you're killing so you can go and kill harder guys. <laughs> I don't know why it's so damn satisfying, but it is. Let's see how fast we can kill this thing. And I feel like we're still not doing tons of damage versus this thing, but... Um, we, we two-shotted it, which is pretty good. So some of these enemies, we were like three or four shotting. Um, Wizards normally is a two shot. These guys were normally a three shot. But hopefully the axe makes it so that it's a consistent two on these guys. Because that's all I need. Yeah, two shotting them. I think we're getting, I think we're doing better. I mean, the axe damn well better be better. It cost me 560 gold, damn it. Anyway, I'll continue to grind here. Ah, we one shot at a wizard or a magician. There we go. All right, we're getting there. Funny thing is, now I would not mind fighting a couple skeleton dudes. But they just seem to spawn infrequently around here. I guess I gotta go to the harder areas. All right, we are making our way back to investigate this previous town. See if we can buy some armor. We're killing some magicians and ghosts along our way back. Get a bit of extra cash. I mean, I, uh, we don't. We only have 200 gold, so who knows how much this armor costs, if it even exists. Oh man, red slimes. Those guys just straight up ran away. I was gonna say, remember those guys? Red slime doesn't want to fight me no more. It's the non-magic Drakies. 14 damage, yeah, you, you can get out of here. All right, moment of truth. I think it was this guy over here. Get out of the way, old man. Oh, no, wait, this guy sells his tools. Um, over here. Weapons and armor. Dost thou wish us to trade? Um, oh, he does! Ooh! Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, and a large shield. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, we'll at least get the chain mail. Uh, I just gotta kill some more guys. Not those guys. <laughs> 14 damage. I think the, those guys have like two or three hit points. I just did like 14 damage to them. Um, no, let's go down here. I think there was even like skeletons and scorpions down here. We'll go for the big boys. Um, I just need to kill like five more or so. Get enough money. God, these like petty enemies actually. They, they're actually interfering with my ability to go places. Keep stopping me for fights. All right, who wants to fight down here? We actually never fully explored down here. Now I'm definitely powerful enough that I can. Oh, a magic Draki wants to fight, eh? Oh, he missed me. Guess what? You're dead. You're gonna take a swipe at the king. Don't miss, baby. From The Wire or something, right? I never watched that. Uh, never actually watched that show myself. Tried to, but years later, I never watched it back in the day. I feel like the time has passed. Like, it's... It's like going back and playing an old video game. It's like sometimes the things that were special now have just permeated to all video games, so the old ones don't seem as special. I think it's the same for TV shows. A show that was, like, revolutionary. Like, everyone's gonna, like, copy and stuff over the years, and then, so if you go back and try and watch it for the first time, it may not stand out as uh, impressive anymore. But who knows, maybe it still is. I don't know, I mean... There's lots of old shows that are still good, so... Maybe I'll give it another shot sometime. I don't know why we're talking about The Wire. It's really irrelevant to Dragon Quest here. Um, 295 gold. Oh, a scorpion tries to stop me, eh? I can two-shot these guys now. They're not so scary. See, the enemies only deal a lot of damage to you when you're in, like, prolonged battles. So actually, being able to do a lot of damage is actually very important this game. Um, like, these guys are all getting, like, one hit on me, so they are slowly whittling me down, but I do have the magic to regenerate, and I'm, like, killing them fast enough. Oh my god, stupid wizard. Kill this guy. I just want to see what's down here, actually. 
Wizards, I feel like half the time I'm one-shotting them and half the time they're getting hit in. So if I get to the next level, I'll be fine. Jesus! It's like non-stop battles here. I wish there was just sort of like an auto-battle mode where if you're powerful enough, it's like you just automatically kill enemies to try and fight with you. Ooh, finally a battle. Let's see what we can do against this guy. Five hit points of damage. I think I will get him in this next round. Boom, you're dead! Oh no. Oh, shite. Die! <sighs> Alright, so skeletons are still a little tricky. Uh, but luckily... We have a lot of, uh, healing magic. There we go, full health. Alright, now what is over here? Red slimes? What are you doing over here? You guys are... <laughs> you guys should not be in this part of the woods, my friends. Oh, man, there's like encounters like all over the place. What's going on? Oh, there's a dungeon. Dare I? Well, I've come this far. Why not? Uh, items. Oh, I don't even have a torch. Okay. So I guess I have to go buy an item then. All right, well, you know what? We were originally going to go into the dungeon south of the other town, but now I'm kind of feeling like, why don't we check this one out? Um, 22 points of damage! Damn, why couldn't I have done that against the skeleton, dude? What is over here? Scorpions... Four hit points. Get out of here, scorpion! Oh! You got another hit, eh? Consider yourself lucky. Alright, anything cool over here? Oh my god. Okay, I don't actually want to fight that guy. Okay, the world just keeps going. I'm so, I feel like I'm starting to reach, like, the limit where, like, I'm afraid to go too much further, because I think, uh, the enemies might become a little too tough for me. Let's go back and buy that chainmail, buy a torch, and check out this dungeon. Alright, okay, actually, I do want... Don't want to forget to, uh, buy a tool from this guy. Uh... Yes. Anything else? Why buy a second torch? Alright. Happy to give you my business, sir. And let's go buy our chain mail. Um, yes. I wish to buy your chain... I feel like you're only renting stuff from these guys because you sell it back to them at half price later on. Um, but yeah, that all sounds great. Go ahead. Take it. It's all yours, sir. Then I guess... I mean, I still have some magic points left over, but we might as well... Uh, heal up before we go on our grand adventure. Alright, we are leveled! We are level 7. Hold on, we'll check out the stats in a second here so we can catch you guys up. We've leveled up, hand axe, chain mail, still have the small shield. I mean, we could save up for the more expensive shield, but... I ca I'm feeling pretty comfortable at this point. Um, even the skeletons, which are pretty tough enemies, I think I can handle them reasonably well. I mean, we just one-shot at a magician there. We're doing pretty good. I would love to hit level 8, but I have no idea if I'm even close to that, so I think we're just gonna go for it and we'll see what happens. Uh, but that's the only thing I would like to do before I really advent- Because then I think I'd be just totally comfortable in killing all these things, like... These monsters which were once oh so terrifying. I mean, the skeleton's still pretty terrifying, actually. But he's not even that terrifying. As long as I have health, I can easily beat him. The issue is just if you don't have a lot of health. Um, but yeah, I can take him down in like, three hits or so. And those stupid hurt spells. Get out of here with your magic. Your evil spells. Damn, actually did like tons of damage. So this stupid bat, because he got two spells off, did like 12 damage. It's actually insane. Compared to most monsters which do nothing to me, because I kill them before they get a chance. All right, Skeleton Man. He does seven damage. Oh God. If the skeleton gets like a powerful hit off on me, he can really take my health down. Uh, kill him! Oh man. Those guys are pretty deadly, actually. 
Um, I guess we'll do that. If I encounter another skeleton right now, I'll run. Okay, we made it to the dungeon. Next. Torch. Right, so what do we got going on around here? Ooh. A druin. I don't know what this thing is. Hopefully we're powerful enough to kill it. Boost by ten. Boom! Die already! Okay, so they have about 20 hit points. Damn! They haven't experienced 14 gold. That's actually quite a bit. That's pretty good. Ooh, okay, so that... Okay, I guess we'll, we'll go here. There's... We'll give this a shot. Oh, there's... Okay. So this is showing us where there's a chest. Can't get there yet. I feel like the music reminds me a bit of Legend of Zelda right now, like the Zelda castle theme. Sounds a little bit like it. I guess this game came before Zelda, so maybe Zelda ripped it off a bit. I mean, you even got the sound effects going up and down the stairs. Sounds very Zelda-ish. Ooh, a warlock. He... Oh, he hits quite hard. Oof. Get him! No! Ugh. Okay, it, we either gotta kill him or it's over. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. Heal that. Um... We need another heal. Oh no, 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 Okay, just wasted it. I thought I was going to hurt myself. Damn, so I only got one more heal. God, what is this thing? Joel. Joel's hit for four. Okay. Four. Okay, I think we gotta get out of this dungeon. We're we're definitely gonna die here. Oh my god, kill this thing! Defeated. Oh my god. They give you tons of experience. And gold, but man. Okay, stairs. Oh, you know the scary thing is, I'm not 100% sure where to go <laughs> to get out of this. Is it over here somewhere? Yeah, down this way. Over here somewhere. Oh, this might be it. Yep. There's... Whew! That was hard. I guess, you know what we should do is try and level up one more time, and then just go into the dungeon and see what we can make happen. See if we can beat one dungeon. Just kind of go all in, you know? I think that's that's what I will do. Okay, I'm gonna level up one more time, and then we're going for it, guys. Ah, right, we did it! We leveled up! Courage and wit have served you well. Power increased by four, response speed three, maximum hit points by six, and magic by three. That's awesome. I'm kind of all the way over here. Oh god, a metal scorpion. Seven! Run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, monsters get more powerful that way. Just curious what's over this way. Oh my god, a wolfhound! Run. Oh god! Ugh, stop spell! Run! Okay, monsters get significantly more powerful past this point. So, uh, alright. Let's, uh... Let's go, uh, heal up. Uh, and come to this dungeon. At full strength. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, a magician ran away from me. It's actually pretty funny. Alright, give me a room, good sir. I'm going adventuring. 25 gold now does not seem like that big a deal. I mean, it's not nothing, but... I mean, I remember when it seemed like outrageous. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're just gonna run from every fight until we get to the dungeon, because... There's literally no point in wearing ourselves down on the, uh, overworld henchmen. We are... We're in it for the dungeon monsters. In fact, we might even want to run away from some of the dungeon monsters. Oh my god. One hit point, get out of here! Alright, oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm running away from you, not because I'm scared, because... Oh, get out of here! Stop chasing me. <laughs> Get out of here, red slime. Alright. Torch on. 
Let's uh, find our way around down here. Oh god. Okay, the Druin... I think we can fight pretty easily. Oh god. Okay, so here's my strategy. I'm gonna fight these things for a little bit. Um, seven experience, 14 gold. They're worth a lot in terms of experience and gold. But I think if I see a warlock, I'm gonna run, because those guys are actually really powerful. And... Man, you could you could farm down here and actually get a lot, it seems. Gonna try running over here. Ooh, stairs. I'm looking for treasure chests and stuff, too. Just in case. Okay, let's take these stairs. Oops. Um... Stairs. I don't know what we're doing in this dungeon down here, what we hope to find, but... Uh, skeleton. I'm gonna run from you. I have nothing to prove to you, skeleton man. Okay, there's a chest. Poltergeist. Oh, what does he do? Hurt. Nine hit points. Blocked again. Oh my god, I should've just fought this thing. At this point, though. At a certain point, the running away was actually doing more harm than good. So I think I have to find the stairs in the middle... Uh, who cares about that thing? We have to find the stairs in the middle of the dungeon here. Uh, which I did find last time. Oh my god. A druin! Okay, let's fight the druin. I also should be using my magic to heal up. I have tons of magic. And I definitely am starting to die. Thou hast done well in defeating the druin. So I think... Um, if I were to, like, keep playing or replay this game... Getting into the dungeons when you are powerful enough seems like a good idea because there's lots of like high value monsters in here. Seems like more high value than on the overworld. Like those druids I'm two shotting and they're giving actually like a ton of experience and stuff. Okay, so we want to. Oh god. Scorpions. Screw you, scorpions. I've killed enough of your kind. I have no quarrel with you. Okay, we'll just keep running from these monsters. I wonder if- is it a thing that when a monster attacks you, if you run away, uh, it can actually fight you again, like, soon? Because I feel like I keep encountering the same monsters over and over again. Magician, let's just kill this guy. Yeah, we can one-shot magicians, we don't even have to chance it. Okay, I think it was up and over here, where we found these stairs down originally. Uh, more druins! Kill the druins! Druin attacks. I like these druins. They feel like no more dangerous than, like, the ghosts on the overworld. Like, they do whittle me down a little bit, but... Uh, seven experience. Okay. They healed up. We got five more heals. That's pretty good. Uh, stairs. We go, like, down it. This is where we found the, uh... Oh! A treasure chest! Okay, let's actually fight this poltergeist. Because last time it just chanted a bunch of hurt spells on us, we might as well have fought it to begin with. Oh, God. Doing a lot of damage. Kill it! Damn. Thirteen... Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... What is it? I forget the take. I was gonna be like, what command is it to open the chest? 15 gold. That was so not worth it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I thought there was going to be something super sweet in here. There's like a treasure chest. Oh my god. A droll. Run from that thing. Now uh, we're going to run from this guy. Okay. I don't know what we're looking for down here. Oh my god, a warlock. We can kill those guys, but they are tough as nails. Man, this feels so stressful being down here. You know what the funny thing is? Like, if this were Zelda or something, at least you could, like, see your enemies and avoid them, but here I feel so, like, you're just up to- it's up to chance. Like, you just encounter what you encounter. Oh, he put me to sleep. And then he hurt me! You dick. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm still asleep! He's gonna kill me! <laughs> I'm sleeping through this whole fight! Look at that sleep spell. is actually really powerful, I didn't realize. I should, I should, I should use that on somebody. 
He showed me the way. By poning me. Um, okay, I'll go up here. Ah, oh, there's gotta be some stairs before we die. We just have to see what's in this dungeon. I'm so curious. So curious. Oh my god. Oh, it's just one of these things. Two hit points. We could probably just kill it. Get some sweet... I wish when you killed enemies, it, like, regenerated some, uh, mana or something like that. Actually, it would make it give you more strategy when you're trying to survive in the dungeons. Like, trying to survive off the little guys. Um... Heal. We only have two more heals after this. So, we are... Ooh. Hello. Oops. Did we just find the whole point of this dungeon? Fortune smiles. Thou hast found a torch. Okay. What is this? Thou has found the fighter's ring. What is that? Put on the fighter's ring. What 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 does that do? Does that make me better at fighting? That's totally cool. Alright, we gotta test this out. Alright, we're gonna fight a poltergeist. Why not? 12 points of damage. He hurt me. Come on! Oh he dodged! Ah, the fighter's ring sucks! Kill him! Oh my god. Ugh, these these monsters hit so hard. Okay, we did kill him, though. 15 gold. That's our second last heal. We only got one more of those babies. Okay, nothing in there. Oh my god. Now, let's try to fight a skeleton. I can at least judge if the ring is, like, helping me out here. I think I three-shot these guys, typically. Maybe even four shot. Because it looks like I'm about to three shot him. I don't know if the ring helped. Whatever. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna run from that one. I'm so lost here, by the way. This is where I came in, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, with the random encounters! <laughs> I don't- I don't mind my random encounters in most RPGs, but it is- it is, you know, like, not annoying, but like when you're, you know, low on health and you're about to die, and you're trying to, f like, I wish this was Zelda where you could like clear out rooms and you could just explore things at your own pace. Because like, I would love to figure out where to go in this dungeon. I have no clue though. Is there a boss or something I'm supposed to be fighting? Uh, I can't figure it out. Oh God, okay, here's our last heal. That's it, boys. Find solo now. I guess... See, the thing is... Ooh. Hello. What's here? 129 gold. Okay, I would love to flee from this dungeon now, but I suspect I'm just gonna die. <laughs> We're about to die. <laughs> oh, no. He's hurting us. And I'm missing him. Oh, my God. Okay, we're running. We're running. Okay, there's nothing over that way. I wish I had a map for this part. I need a Nintendo Power Magazine to help me through this. Guys, I don't think we're going to survive here too much longer, but I can definitely say I did not plan on spending two and a half hours playing Dragon Quest today, but that's precisely what happened. I don't know how long this edited video is going to be, but I suspect it will be one of our long ones. Um, and I think that's a testament, you know, actions speak louder than words in some cases. It's a testament to the fact that I think this game is still very playable, uh, and quite fun and interesting. Um, definitely it's an old school RPG, but like sometimes when we play older games, sort of their oldness stands out. I will say what stands out about this game for its oldness is that it does feel like a simple RPG, but it doesn't even necessarily feel that different to me than some other RPGs I've played in recent times, like the Kingsway and stuff. I mean, definitely the Kingsway is more advanced and there's more items and stuff, but the core mechanics are here. You know, if you like grinding away, killing enemies, becoming more powerful, finding dungeons to explore and so on, this game has got a lot going for it. Um, the one thing I wish is that in these... In these underground dungeons, it was a little easier to find your way around because I'm totally lost. I think I'm just gonna bail, to be totally honest. Kinda don't wanna die with all this gold. Even though I'm about to quit the game, I may never come back. I don't wanna end on a death. Um, Dragon Quest, or... Well, Dragon Warrior, as the game is known, or Dragon Quest if you're from Japan, is one of the games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. 
I I wholeheartedly agree in that I think this game is an iconic game. I heard about it growing up as a kid, just never happened to play it. It's an iconic, uh, recognizable game that had a big impact on the RPGs that would follow. I mean, you can see it if you go play a modern indie game like The King's Way. It, you see the DNA of, uh, you know, Dragon Warrior here. So... I think it's an iconic game. Um, if you've never played a game like this, or you like games like this, and weren't aware that this was one of the OG games that helped inspire a generation of games, definitely worth checking out. I think it holds up. Um, one one fun fact we can end on, you know, I, I read about this before I sat down to play today. I thought it was pretty interesting. Is that uh, Nintendo actually had about, I think it was either 50,000 or half a million unsold Dragon Warrior games at one point, and they decided to give the game away free for anyone who signed up for a su uh, subscription of Nintendo Power. <laughs> I like how the magicians run away now. So uh, at one point, this game was just straight up given away by Nintendo, and part of the reason it became such a huge cult favorite and a success in the West, I think, I mean, it's due to the game, but also due to the fact that it was kind of given away, and so there's it sort of was a widespread Nintendo game that a lot of people knew about, and, uh, you know, if Yuji, uh, what was his name? Yuji Hori set out to create a wizardry or an ultima for the everyman and draw people into RPGs who might not typically have played RPGs, I think this game is very playable, very accessible. You know, there's some retro games that we play where it's like, you take, you know, in modern games, modern developers try and make games much more obvious and easy to figure out from the get-go, and in the olden times, sometimes they wouldn't do that. So there definitely are older games that we've played that are more like, geez, how do we do this? Where do we go? This game, I didn't look up any instructions or anything. It was very obvious from the get-go. I think this is just a very well-made game. So, yeah, I mean, those are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think of Dragon Warrior here? Is it a game that you yourself played back in the day? Is it a game that you yourself beat? I mean... I've been playing this for two and a half hours. I can't beat the first dungeon, or I don't even know if that's the first dungeon. I can't beat the only dungeon I can find. Um, certainly, I think it's the kind of game you have to grind out, but um, as I've been saying, I don't think it's a bad thing. I uh, enjoy the, the gradual increase in power. But anyway, did you guys play this back in the day? What did you think of it? How far could you get in it? Do you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to share with us or fond memories? If you do, don't forget to comment in the comments down below because that's where you can comment your comments. And uh, other than that, um, oh, that guy ran away after I damaged him. That's rare. Other than that, whatever you think of this game here today, hopefully today was enjoyable and entertaining and interesting. If it was, don't forget to like the video and all that jazz. And I will be back soon with yet another game from the book of Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. So until next time, my friends, and as always, you take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon. Peace. Ooh, slime ball.